Greetings everyone and welcome to the channel. Whew, what a morning it has been. Thank you for stopping by. Now this morning I got up, it was at 5am, to play the new Destiny expansion, Season 13, Season of the Chosen. I labeled the stream I Am the Chosen, because I thought it'd be funny. Kind of was. Anyway, we're going to talk as much as we can about today, without spoiling it for you. So I'm not going to go into any spoiler stuff, I'm not going to go into any weapons, I'm not going to go into any grave detail. It's purely just a kind of overview of how I personally feel and kind of a little bit of what's going on. And, uh, it's going to sound real weird, but I just I want you guys to experience it if you want to for yourself without someone like me spoiling that experience for you because I, I may have my experience, you may have your experience and they're very different or they could be the same, but I don't want to put the idea into your head before, we get, before you see it yourself. So this morning I logged into Destiny, it was a bit of a wait, it was fine, I just meandered through Steam and had a look at some stuff. 6am rolls around, we're in, we're playing, we're loving it. There's a couple of cutscenes which I really recommend you watch if you haven't watched them yet or you, you know, you're just waiting to play it yourself. Um, I, won't, I won't include them in this video, this video is purely just some backing. Um, so you go into, the, go into the new bit of content which is awesome, starts you off throwing you in. So you're kind of wondering what's happening. Um, I, I certainly did this morning when I jumped in. It was really odd. But after you've done the, uh, you know, the throw-in mission like they do every season, they did something that they've done a, a lot of, which I'm not happy about. And that is giving you a taster of what the season is and then pushing you towards old content. Now, the seasonal model's been going on for a while now, and every season's the same, and every season we say we don't like it, but every season they've done it so far. I don't see why you tease all this amazing content and put it behind barriers, like making me play strikes. I don't see why I should load up new content that costs some people a lot of money. I mean, I bought the season passes you know last year so I, don't, I haven't spent any new money um but you know it, it's a lot of money and the fact that i'm just running strikes which i could have done without having to buy it is not really you know not really gravy so anyway we, we jumped into the concept we had a bit of play around it was a lot of fun i played for about eight hours so i, I did play a lot now in the eight hour span maybe 45 minutes to an hour was new content not me redoing the content but new content now there's some pretty interesting story like trails off and some interesting character development going on but it just ends and it doesn't make a lot of sense why i mean we know why in the real world why it's happening but i mean we won't know anything now till next week. So now we're going back to farming strikes and light level, which is fine. You know, there's a light level grind, but there's no new raid. You know, there's nothing super urgent to do. There's some Grandmaster Nightfalls coming out soon, but nothing super, super urgent. It requires me to bust our light levels like they're going out of fashion. So we, we continue playing and playing and playing. And then I kind of just got the idea of, well, I've been running strikes now for six years. Six years I've been playing Destiny. Maybe longer now. And every time I play Destiny, I end up having to run strikes. Now I enjoy strikes as much as most people do. I thoroughly enjoyed my very first time jumping back into the Devil's Lair strike. Now my only gripe with that strike is why is the Rise of Iron music in it? But why is the arena not damaged by splices? So you've got the amazing orchestral music of Rise of Iron in there, which was amazing. Uh, props are due, or props are due. But the whole strike is like it's all been repaired. Like nothing ever happened. There's no snow. There's no cut metal. There's no damage. It's just vanilla D1 ra uh, strike. With a new look on the boss. And that, that is fine. 
if that's the way you want to go. But because we can't access it through the story means, or any way I've found so far, apart from loading up the Nightfall, I don't know why it's like that. That to me is an important bit of information just missing. We do a couple of meet and greets with Zavala and, you know, as you know from the trailer, he, he is the, the main guy of this one. We have a couple of meet and greets with him and Osiris, and then we kind of left to our own devices and we're like, well, what do I do? And that brings me to my, my biggest problem with the seasonal model. My biggest problem is they put three months or more worth of content, story content, over those three months. Now, for some people, that's amazing. You're like, yeah, I can, I can not play this week, I can play next week, pick up where I've left off. But when you drop a new DLC, the primary, the, you know, the primary function of that day one experience is to do new stuff. New. And I emphasize the word new. But we're not. I spent most of my eight hours running strikes trying to play crucible which i haven't touched in months because i just don't enjoy destiny's crucible but being forced into it for a catalyst and then running gambit but i mean i don't want to play gambit i will miss triumphs to not play gambit i absolutely despise that game mode it is horrendous i will not play it if that means i miss out on the seal for the season so be it i'm not playing gambit if I have to play Gambit for any story mission, well then the story ends for me. I will not touch Gambit, and I mean that. Um, but we have this day one launch. It's hype, there's trailers, there's press shots, there's screenshots, there's wallpapers put out. Bungie released a massive patch this morning, 3.1.0, 3 doing a bunch of minor tweaks and changes to make it just nicer to play. But you give me 40 minutes of story and say go run strikes or crucible or go back to your opera maybe the stranger has some stuff for you to do do and if she and she does have stuff for you to do go run last season's content to get it and i'm like it's cool and all and i wouldn't mind that and i don't mind that because you know beyond light is the overarching you know season the overarching for the whole year I don't mind that, but what I do mind is having to cut my story experience very short to go play old content, just so next week I can pick it back up again. If it's already there, give me all the story day one. Give me all of it. Every single second of it, I want it day one. Then I can spend the rest of the time if I want to play, grinding levels, grinding gear, grinding sets chasing bounties chasing catalysts but having it spread over months and months means you could not play season of the chosen for february march and probably jump back in april before the season ends sort of end of march start of april and then play all the story content that's coming out in one cohesive line and probably enjoy it more than i will because by week four i'll have no idea what i did in week one i just won't and that for me breaks up that story and is kind of disinteresting now i'm a big final fantasy 14 player and a big wow player and i bring that that thought pattern and process with me with final fantasy 14 is going to a new expansion very shortly they will drop all their quests the second it launches you have no holds barred quest galore there'll be some fetch quests in there because it is it is day one there'll always be fetch quests to sort of drag it out but the fetch quests are new quests they're not old quests they're not go back to you know two, you know two areas ago and go do this or go back to the monk trainer and do this you will get all new fetch quests for the area that you're in and that's that's kind of what i wish destiny would do with the seasonal model but hey yes Here's all the story content. All right, but Grandmaster Trials, we got uh, a new event coming out. We're going to have a, a new strike, which will unlock once you've done the campaign. Cool, let me do that. Don't go, here's some story. 
Here's some Shrix. Here's some Crucible. Here's some Gambit. Go to Europa for a bit. Here's some more story. Go to Strikes. Go to Gambit. Go to... Yeah. And then here's some more story. Oh, here's the new... Here's the new Strike. All right, well, what I do week one again? Because I forgot. And that, that is honestly how I feel. Um, but, you know, this is open for discussion. If you guys think, hey, you've been a bit too critical, you're wrong. Let me know down below. If you want to have a discussion on Discord with me about the DLC, or just play alongside me. I'm I'm still going to be playing it. I said, I st oh, Destiny is nice to play, but there's nothing to play for, and that's the biggest problem they have. I hope the season content that comes through the next couple of weeks will really change my mind, and I'll do a new review of the season once it's come towards the end of it, because I'm I'm hopefully optimistic that this will turn around. But after day one, eight hours of straight play, it's honestly, it seems oversold, underdelivered. That it's honestly how I feel. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video or listening to the video. If you do have any questions, be sure to find them down in the comments below or check me out during one of my live streams. I'm more than happy to chat with you there. But as always, stay safe. Take care. Bye for now.